I hate small hive beetles. So we're going to take them out with this new product and it's not something that we have any stake in owning or anything like that. But this was a company that came to our North American Honey Bee Expo and they're going to be there again. And I love it because it's made in Tennessee in the good U US of A. So this is just a simple little trap right here, but it's designed to be easy to use and reuse and reload. I love it. Totally American. Now, it's got several nice gaps right in here where we can keep our bees out of it, but the small hive beetles can get into it and gain access very easily. And the spacing is a space that they won't as likely propolize up. So this is some bait right here that they sell, Bye Bye Beetle Bait. And you can go to their website down below. I've got a lot more to say about this because I'm excited. So in the description and pinned in the comment below is going to be a couple paragraphs of the collaboration between this company, uh, Power B2B, and the University of Georgia, UGA. So uh, Dr. Lewis Bartlett and several of the guys and gals over there are working on a safe pesticide poison that kills small hive beetles but doesn't target bees. Now this trap is work, this company's working with them. They're supporting them heavily. Gets me really excited to see that because that's what works. We have the skills of the university, we have the private sector, and we have the needs of the beekeeper all coming together to create a great product and solutions for our industry. And because we're a small industry, we need all the help that we can get. So I hope this inspires other people to do that. But the bait is supposed to be and this is the first generation. This isn't the stuff with the UGA, but what's coming down the road is even better. And what's so great about this is most traditional beetle traps, the beetles have to just fall into, fall into diatomaceous earth, fall into oil traps, whatever. And that takes time and sometimes the beetles just don't do it. This right here lures them in and beetles are pretty easy to convince to eat stuff, especially if it smells like pollen patty. And it certainly does because there is some of that in there. And so you lure them in with something, beetles already love pollen patties. I mean, it's right in their DNA. So a little bit of that, a little bit of um, beetle, a bye-bye beetle, <laughs> and then their history. And you're pulling them to the trap. The University of Georgia has got this product in development that is safe for bees, but in this trap, the bees won't even be able to get to it. And I just love that. So when we opened this hive in the cracks and crevices where the bees can hardly get to them, there was quite a few, holy smokes, there's a beetle right there. Well, you're not gonna get a chance to be poisoned, you little sucker. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, evil chuckle. So. That being said, I, it may have been going after this. I definitely didn't have that on there. That was surprising, but they they love a pollen patty and that's what this smells like and it just lures them right in. I'm super excited about this. The statement down below to summarize though is basically where they're making a safe product. This is being tested. They want EPA certification to where, you know, it's safe for the bees, it's safe for the beekeepers and we're, you know, safely but productively killing these small hive beetles. So I'm just taking a little bit of this product right here, this first generation of what power to be has made to eliminate these suckers. And we're just putting a little bit on there. Now a strong double deep colony, honey production size. I'm giving two of these underneath the lid. And whammo. A small colony like this one, and if I see like 50 or more, I'm totally giving them two of these. But if I only see a few beetles, I'm just gonna probably put one in there until I see more. I've got 200 of them, so that's a pretty good trial that we're gonna be doing, testing different sizes of colonies. I really love the idea that they're reloadable, and also when I'm making up mating nukes or splits in early summer, when the beetles are starting to get really high, and also that the, the, the little nukes are going through a period of weakness as a new queen comes back or a new queen takes over and starts laying, 
you know, that's a weak period. And beetles can detect strength of colony and they can detect bees' weaknesses. And so it's really important for those little colonies to have uh, this extra protection. And here's the other thing too. The, you're always gonna need, you know, some of, something around. It doesn't have to be these traps, it, something. Because what we find is there's some colonies in this yard that only have five, at least what we visibly see. We, there's some of them I open up and there's a hundred underneath them. And I don't know why that is, some of them even look really good. They're big, powerful colonies, but there's a hundred in there. And so I want to eliminate those because sometimes they'll leave out of that big colony and go over to a small colony and just sack it. And the problem is when these beetles go in and take over, they can easily raise off of a five frame nuke or 10 frame hive or whatever, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 larvae and they go into the ground and pupate, and then within a couple months, they're beetles, and they're back after you. In the north, it's not as big of a problem, but in the deep south, it's a big problem. And so having something that lures them in and takes them out really helps keep them under control. I love the fact that this is a collaboration. I've got the website down below. Again, Laurel and I have got nothing to do with it, but we're going to enjoy it just like everybody else. So. I just wanted to make you all aware, we've got a lot more of these to throw together and get in through all these nucleus colonies and big strong hives and we'll keep you posted on how much success we have with them. But based off of my buddies that have told me their success and what I know about the University of Georgia, I just wanna see more and more from this product. So thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.